guys welcome back okay so I really was trying to think of a more interesting way to kind of show you guys my makeup collection I have done different videos on specific <laughs> specific on specific groupings of makeup like eyeshadow palettes highlighters lipsticks you know blushes stuff like that so I have done videos like that in the past and it's been quite a while since I've done like a makeup collection update video <laughs> or the such I have started on declutter videos okay but as far as when I think of doing makeup collection videos it, it gets a little stressful or daunting because when you have a lot of makeup like I do it can be kind of overwhelming to think about sitting down and going through your whole makeup collection and showing everything you have it can get a little bit much so it kind of pushes me towards just not doing it because <laughs> it, it, it's a lot and so I was trying to think of different ways that I can show you guys makeup items that I have in my collection but not just the basic standard regular way of these are all my eyeshadow palettes these are all my blushes these are all my highlighters stuff like that um i decided i wanted to do it by color <laughs> so in this video the color is going to be green now the palettes that i have picked out are basically green themed palettes of course i have a lot of palettes that might have a green shade in here in them here or there but I'm not going to go through all of those because I have a lot of rainbow palettes <laughs> so these are just palettes that are green themed or you know basically you pick them up if you want to do a green look at least I think so and all of the other green items in my collection so whether it be lipsticks eyeliners glitters um, liquid eyeshadows Whatever they are, if it's green, I'm gonna show it to you. <laughs> so today is going to be my green makeup collection. So if you like green or you wanna see what I have that's green, sit back, grab a snack. I am gonna try my hardest not to swatch you guys because I don't want this video to be crazy long, but y'all know how that goes. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start out with the palettes and just move into everything else. Uh, some of these palettes I haven't even used yet, so I can't really give you my opinion on them. I'm just going to show you what I have and we'll keep it moving, okay? So the first item, which I have actually used, let me put my glasses on so I can tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, so this first item is my Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. Very, very easy item to pick for this green video because this palette is 100% green themed. It is so pretty, you guys. I did do a video using this palette. I'll see if I can dig it up because it's been a while and I will link it if I can. So this is what she looks like. I know a lot of you guys are very familiar with this palette, but I do have this in my collection. Next I have, this is brand spanking new. And when I say brand spanking new, I mean it was delivered to my house today. <laughs> And the crazy thing is I forgot I ordered it. So I was like, oh snap. Okay. This is the Huda Beauty Neon. And I don't even know. Does this have a name? I'm sure it has a name. But anyway, it's the green one. <laughs> so this is her green themed neon palette. Which is funny because it has the, I guess, three green um, shadows on the top really light neon and then this kind of greeny shimmer and then it has all these other colors in here to kind of mix and play with with your look I'm assuming yeah I don't know but I, I believe those colors will look really really pretty together with the greens that are on top so honestly I can't wait to use it at first I was like eh. I don't know about those, but I'm kind of excited to try these out because after using the shimmers in the Mercury Retrograde, honey, I'm, I'm excited about that palette, okay? Now, this one here is another one that I haven't used. I think I swatched it, though. Yeah, I think I swatched it. This is the Beauty Glazed Uranus palette. So this is one of the Beauty Glazed dupe palettes for the Huda Beauty Green or... 
I don't think, is it a dupe for the Emerald Obsessions? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. To, well, maybe it's supposed to be, but... <laughs> but, uh, I don't know how much of a dupe it is. Yeah, I guess, it, yeah, it's supposed to be a dupe for this Huda um, Emerald. And from what I understand, these palettes are really, really good. The Beauty Glazed ones are really good, and they're only a couple of bucks. So if you can't afford the Huda ones, try these out. <clears throat> But yeah, I have that one too. Okay, another palette that I have not tried out yet, and I don't even know if I will, it is this palette here. This one is the Chilled palette, and it has the cannabis in it. I love this packaging, that's why I bought it, but this palette is actually really, really inspiring. If you like green, and you wanna do a green look, honey, and I've seen bomb green looks done. <laughs> with this palette so honestly i already know it's a really good palette from what i've seen and i might have to dig into this baby but as of right now i haven't tried it yet and i really don't have no plans on it but who knows okay next i did use this palette this is the avocado green palette from delancey looks like this and I do have a video using this palette um I don't know if it's still up there but on Amazon they actually had my picture associated with this palette <laughs> from the look I did but this is what this palette looks like I like this palette this is a really really good green palette to have um it even has glitters in there if you like the glitters I don't know why they have this little crazy pop of light blue, but I guess it's a nice little change <laughs> of face to have in there. But yeah, this is a really, really nice green themed palette. Next, I have this Beauty Crop Mojito palette. Okay, very, very cute. This is part of their cocktail booklet, their little pop, <laughs> their little cocktail series that has all the different cocktails in there. The Mojito is one of them, and this is what this palette looks like. I did do a video using this palette. Now with Beauty Crop, I have a love-hate relationship with Beauty Crop because some of their shadows I really, really like, really love, like the um, mattes and the regular shimmers, but they have like these weird kind of interesting type shimmers like this one here that can be a little bit tricky when you're using it on your lid. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it just sometimes is more trouble than it's worth to me. <laughs> so very, very nice palette, beautiful colors. Um, but yeah, I have that one as well. Now this palette, I don't know if it would be considered a green palette, but because there's more than one or two greens in here, I went ahead and threw it in. This is the ABH Subculture Palette. I know you guys are familiar with this from Subculture Gate. <laughs> but this is what this palette looks like. And, you know, there's basically these three greens in here. And then this shimmer that has a bit of a, you know, has a little hint of green in it. But yeah, so this is a really decent, like grungy palette. If you don't hate this formula, I don't hate this formula. I actually like this formula. So, you know, it's just for those that like the subculture palette or formula. Yeah, it has some, some decent green shades to use in here where you can create a nice green eye look. Next, I have here the Juvia's Tribe palette. So this is the Tribe by Juvia's. Oh my gosh. I about fell out when I got this palette. When I saw this palette teased and then I got it and I used it. Ugh, yo. <laughs> Beautiful artwork in here, of course, but just the combination of shadows that they put together for this palette, the greens with the oranges and then these, oh my gosh, these crazy teal type blues in here. It's just, mm it's 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 gorgeous <laughs> so yeah this is like one of my favorite palettes it is absolutely beautiful I, i'm not swatching okay you guys there's swatches all over the tube 
watch my video using that palette <laughs> and then you can see the swatches for it okay okay next i have here my profusion chocolates palette i was just looking at this palette thinking about decluttering it but i decided not to because i actually like this palette um it's not a quote unquote green palette but once again like i said there are like three greens in here and this shimmer goes really really nicely with those greens but yeah it's just kind of one of those palettes where since the other shadows in here are basically you know just kind of like some neutral tones when you throw in this matte here of course maybe add in this here even use this even this it has that kind of bluey green tone to it it does kind of make your eye look lean towards the green so this is a nice palette to have as well like i said some people kind of use it as a dupe for the natasha denona gold even though i know the formula is nothing at all like natasha denona but you know if you're balling on a budget you gotta do what you gotta do so you can definitely create a beautiful eye look with this palette as well okay next i have here one of the kaleidos eyeshadow palettes this is futurism one sci-fi green i actually have their latest two palettes that i haven't even used yet you guys okay hot mess but this is the sci-fi green palette and as you can see it has that beautiful grungy kind of army green feel to it i mean love it love it it is so pretty and that black in there is really nice because you can use that to kind of deepen up your eye look and smoke it out so Kaleidos, they have a really, really nice formula for their eyeshadows. So this is a palette that I'm really, really happy to have. Okay, next, I have a couple of palettes from Melt. And believe it or not, I haven't even used these yet. I picked these up, <laughs> I would say during my last haul, but I'll just say I picked them up during the last haul that I filmed. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Smoke Sessions, okay? These palettes are so pretty. And I know you guys are very familiar with these shadows. Very, very pretty. I'm actually kind of anxious to use this palette. I mean, these shimmers over here just look so pretty to me. Ah, uh, yeah, so I really need to dig into this and <laughs> play around with it and see what it do, okay? So that's the Smoke Sessions. This one is the Gemini from Melt. I like this packaging. Those roses on that black is just really, really pretty to me. And then that green writing, very nice detail. And so this is what this palette looks like. So it has the green and then it has these nice browns and golds in here as well. So I like the balance of this. I guess, I don't know, would this one be warm tone and then the smoke session be a little bit more icy? More cooler tone? I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, you can see the differences there, but they're both absolutely gorgeous green themed palettes. Okay, so next I have here a palette that will actually be in my green and my blue themed makeup items <laughs> videos. This one is the Ace Beauté Oceanic. And I, of course, I definitely think of this palette when I think of a blue look. This is like the first palette I wanna grab because it has just the most gorgeous blues in here, but it also has really beautiful greens. So, if you like those combination of shades or you know you want to try out a blue green palette i would definitely suggest this palette this is absolutely is this my favorite blue palette it might be <laughs> this might be my favorite blue green palette it's gorgeous and it performs wonderfully okay so i have that Okay, next I have a palette that I actually used to create this green eye look today. And this is my e.l.f. Earth and Ocean palette. So although it is not a completely green eyeshadow palette, it's definitely green heavy. 
because you know just like the oceanic palette from ace beauté it does have the blues and then it has the greens so yeah it's definitely a palette that i would gravitate to to create a green eye look and as you can see it creates a very easy simple green eye look i really like it i think the quality of this palette is pretty nice i don't want to say too much because I did film this eye look and I don't know which video is going up first. So <laughs> this palette I also have in my collection and I would grab it to create a green look. Okay, next here I have this palette from Cara Beauty. This is the ES7. I don't even know if they still sell this anymore. You know when you purchase these palettes like this in the plastic black, <laughs> a lot of times they kind of switch out inventory or create new palettes. So I don't even know if they still sell this, but yeah, when I saw this, I just had to have it at the time. I think this color scheme was kind of like really popular with the greens and the oranges and the browns. Um, right now is a nice time to use it. You know, during fall, it's actually winter now. <laughs> so fall is kind of like, you know, easing its way out. But this palette does have kind of like that green and orange grungy type feel to it. If you like these type of shadows, it gives you a nice amount of colors to create a look from and a good amount of them are green. So yeah, this is another type of green palette that I have in my collection. Now this next palette is from a company called Unique Beauty. It's one of their status quo palettes. It looks like this and I actually have not used this haven't tried it out yet I purchased about six palettes from them when they had this sale and these palettes were like maybe four bucks each or whatever um, I did get a little frustrated when I got them because a few of them had damaged shadows and I had to repress them and all that stuff because the way that they package and ship them is horrible <laughs> so I wasn't happy about having to repress some of my shadows, but this is the Dark Souls palette. And y'all, I'm telling you, I've swatched all of the shadows from the palettes that I purchased from them. You can even see like some of the shadows still kind of around here that I tried to clean up and didn't get it all, but their eyeshadows it's just a different type of formula. I don't know, I might even be scared to try these shadows out because the formula is just so, it feels so different to me. I can't even describe it, but let me just go ahead. I will swatch this one for you guys, um, just because it's so unique. I mean, it's, the swatches are absolutely beautiful. They are <laughs> borderline amazing. Like that's a glitter. So, you know, it's going to look kind of funky. It's actually like a duochrome type glitter. You can see that, but their shadows, oh, you guys, so metallic, so shiny, so pigmented. It's crazy. So I'm really glad that I did pick these up <laughs> on sale for four bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. Let me swatch the mattes. The mattes are like that. This black is not that great. <laughs> it's not that great, but let me go ahead and just swatch um, like the green and the black for you. I would say the real stars are the shimmers. You know, you can get pigment out of the mattes. Even the black, you can see it's kind of interesting it's not like a regular matte it feels kind of creamy but yeah this palette you guys i need to use it <laughs> i really do but like i said i have about five of these let me know or i have six of them let me know down below if you'd like to see a video of maybe me just swatching all of them so you can see what they look like i don't even know how many of you guys are familiar with unique beauty I didn't know anything about them until I saw their palettes on sale on Instagram. But yeah, they're cute little five pan palettes. And as you can see, they have serious shine and um, shimmer. So anyways, I consider this one of my green themed palettes as well. 
Okay, so now that I've gotten through all of my green themed palettes, I want to just show you some of my other makeup items that I have that are green, okay? So believe it or not, I only have one green lipstick. I was actually shocked. <laughs> that might not be strange to any of you, but to me, that's kind of strange. I thought I had more, but yeah, I only have one green lipstick. This is from Maybelline, I believe, and this is the color Serpentine very very pretty snazzy packaging i actually have had this lipstick for quite a while so <laughs> it's probably expired but i don't care honey as long as my lips don't fall off but you guys see that color oh this color is gorgeous i am going to swatch this for you guys though this cut it's really really creamy it's not like that dry matte you know it's pretty and it has a little bit of metallicness to it so yeah this is the shade serpentine and honestly if i felt like it i would have it on today with this eye look but i just felt kind of nude today so but i love having this lipstick for when i want to just kind of be bold with a green makeup look okay next i want to show you some green kind of liquid eyeshadows, I guess, and glitters that I have. I have a couple of these from Revlon. This one is one of their Photo Ready Eye Arts. And what color is this? Ooh, chow, I cannot read that. I'll have to put it on the screen. But this is what it looks like. So it has that, you know, the metallic kind of shadow on one end and it has the glitter on the other. Let me see, and I've had these for quite a while as well. So let me just swatch this right quick and see <laughs> if it's not dried out so you guys can check it out. Because I believe they still sell these. I still see them when I go to the store, at least the last time I did. But this is what it looks like. So it gives you the really pretty metallic shadow to use. And then also, you know, the pretty liquid glitter. If you want to try using glitter, and you don't wanna to have to use glitter glue and all that stuff. These are kinda of easy and simple to use. So that's what that one looks like. Okay, so next here I have another liquid eyeshadow. This is one that I got from AliExpress, but it is really pretty because it has a beautiful kind of, I don't know, like a mint green look to it. I'm not that fond of their applicators. I know it has a hole in it because you know, it's supposed to help you get more product out, but I'm not that big of a fan of it. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's not opaque, as opaque as the ones from Maybelline, but it's still a really pretty mint color um, if you like this type of stuff. And I'm pretty sure I got this for like a couple of bucks from AliExpress, not too pricey. And they have all kinds of colors. Now this here is a, metallic liquid eyeshadow that I got from Profusion. I believe this was in a kit, maybe some type of a kit. I don't remember buying this separately. I've had this one for a while too. You know, it's like we really don't, at least I don't, <laughs> tend to use a lot of the liquid or metallic shadows. I forget about them quite honestly. Now, even though this one does kind of lean towards a green look, it's very, very gold. So if you pair this with a green eyeshadow, it's gonna bring the green out more out of this you know, metallic shadow, because you can clearly see the green in there, but it's very, very gold, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This is called Gilded. If you like it and you like Profusion, it's called Gilded. Okay, next here I have from Stila. This is Diamond Dust, and you can actually use this with all types of eye looks. And because there's so many different colors in this shadow, it, it really does look like Diamond Dust. Um, you can definitely wear it with a green eye look and it will bring out the green that's in here. So that's what it looks like. But yeah, this is the Stila Diamond Dust and it is really, really pretty. Really, really gorgeous. And like I said, it, it just, it has so many different colors in there, but I can definitely pull, you know, green out of there very easily. 
so so pretty okay next i have a couple of cream type eyeshadows so this is one of my ColourPop super shock shadows <laughs> and so this is what it looks like let me give you the name this is called shameless i do not use my super shock shadows you guys i was looking at them today and i was like oh my goodness i have some really pretty super shock shadows but it is gore oh, it's gorgeous it's like it's like a black background with like green flecks in it it has some other kind of duochrome shades that pop out but it's just really really pretty so so pretty i mean it's it's gorgeous you can see that <laughs> you can see how pretty that is Ugh, i need to use this i really do Y'all, I'm going through a, a phase where I'm like really wanting to depot a lot of my makeup that I don't use or that I forget about or that I'm not inspired by in the palette that I bought it in. I'm really, really going through this whole depotting phase. So I might go ahead and try and depot my super shock shadows <laughs> because I really want to use them more. So this one is from Faux Era which you know is off aliexpress so it's like a really really light kind of goldy green um super shock shadow dupe this is the color olive and this is what it looks like oh that's pretty so it is a very gold green type shade very very pretty and i mean these are very nice quality for you know like super shock shadow dupes if you can't really afford you know to buy them and you want to try something out that's similar aliexpress does have these um like i said the company name is foera and they have all kinds of colors and shades i have several of these in different colors okay speaking of foera I have, I went ahead and wanted to try out some of their shimmer pigment eyeshadows. So they're loose pigment shadows. I mean, they're kind of fun to play with, but they can be messy. This one is in the color Emerald. So the way the container looks, it has a black top. And then, you know, you can kind of see the color underneath. You know, since it is a loose pigment, you have to really be careful with these. I'm going to try and swatch a little bit for you guys. Um, this is what it looks like. You know, it looks like a loose pigment in there. But let me see if I can swatch what's in the top. So yeah, that's just a little bit of powder from the lid. You see that? Ugh. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. It's gorgeous. I'm always so happy when I find <laughs> really pretty makeup on Ali AliExpress because it is so stinking cheap. Um, but yeah, this is Shimmer Pigment Eyeshadow in the color Emerald. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, gorgeous. Are you guys tired of seeing green yet? Let me know in the comments down below if you like this style of showing my makeup collection or if you don't, I mean, I understand, but I think it's kind of different. It's actually even a little more fun for me because it's kind of like giving me a refresher of what I have in my collection. When I do want to do a certain eye look, it's like, okay, remember you have this, you have that, try this, try that, you know, so. I like it. Okay, this is called Cosmic Dust. <laughs> Where did I get this from? You know what? I'm sure I got this from AliExpress as well. Um, it says Tess Tessie Shop. Yeah. You know, when you order stuff from AliExpress, sometimes it's hard to figure out the name or the shop. But yeah, I did. This is another loose pigment shadow. You can kind of see the color there in the bottom so very pretty but this is called cosmic dust and i'm oh my goodness look at this somebody come look at this somebody come look at this <laughs> oh my goodness honey beautiful and i have different colors 
in these as well okay so let me swatch this cosmic dust for you okay so this is what that looks like as you can see it does shift from light to dark has that nice you know dual chromey shift going on oh oh my goodness honey that is gorgeous oh i should have used that on my lid today that's pretty so yeah you guys check out aliexpress if you love makeup like i do and you want to like try different stuff like this you know that might be a little different for you check them out it might take forever and a day to get to you but <laughs> when it shows up sometimes it's really really nice Okay, next, I'm, I'm almost done, you guys. I only have a few more things. Next, I have another item I got from AliExpress, but I actually think that they sell these on Amazon now. These are just liquid, you know, eyeliner, glitter eyeliners. So they do come like in packs with different colors. This is the green one that I have. So let me show you what this green glitter liner looks like. And I'm just using a viewfinder. I don't even have a mirror, but very, very pretty, nice and opaque. It's absolutely gorgeous for it to be, you know, a glitter that only cost me a couple of dollars. And, you know, there's a good amount in here and the applicator is, is pretty decent. I mean, I have a lot on there, <laughs> but the applicator is pretty decent. So yeah, I have this beautiful green glitter. It's really making me feel like Christmas right now. You know, I know I should have my Christmas decorations out. I swear I have been in chill mode, okay? But yeah, very, very pretty green glitter. Another AliExpress special. Now my actual green glitters, of course, I'm not gonna swatch them because it's gonna be doing the most, but I just wanna show you the ones that I have. This one is from Glitter My World. It's called Sparkly Fern. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty green shade. It's kind of like a minty green. Very pretty though. So I have that. These I got three of them. This one actually looks blue. It's kind of like a turquoise, so I'm not going to show that. But these I got... Um, in a group of glitters from Amazon, I think. They probably, yeah, I think I got these from Amazon, but it came in like a group set of a bunch of different, you know, really fine glitters. And these are the two that I have in green shades. I wish I could tell you, it says Anmas Ricci, Anmas Ricci. I don't know if you can read that, you know, if you're looking for some really, really fine glitter, some that is not so thick or not so chunky, um, these, like I said, I bought them off of Amazon and they're really, really pretty green shades. Next, I have here from Glitter My World as well. This is Imperial Aqua. Ugh, gorgeous. And I don't know, some people might would consider this blue, really, since it's aqua. But, you know, I would use it with either a blue or a green look but yeah it does pull more blue because it is aqua but it's pretty still <laughs> okay and i have this little trio set that i got from nyx i bought this from ross or was it tj maxx maybe tj maxx this was like a little a while ago okay and it came in like a set and it had glitter glue and all that stuff in it but i mean when i saw that emerald green glitter in there and then that kind of really pretty confetti glitter and then on the top it has like a black base glitter with like green and other multicolor specks in it i thought it was gorgeous so i don't even know if they still sell these but yeah, this is a really, really pretty glitter set that I have in my collection and I'm really, really happy I do because they're super duper pretty. Okay, now I bet you guys don't think that I have a green highlighter, huh? <laughs> 
because uh, it's not a highlighter that I'll actually use on my face, but I would definitely use it for an inner corner highlight. It is part of my Unicorn Glow Highlight Collection from Face Candy. Now I did purchase two of these highlighter Unicorn Glow palettes when Shop Hush was still around. And so it has these different color highlighting shadows in here. And of course, as you can see up here, I do have a green one. So if I ever wanted to, you know, get crazy or get funky or whatever, I could use my green highlighter. <laughs> so yeah, it does, you know, swatch just like a regular highlighter, but it does have a green hue to it. So let me just kind of blend it out a little bit so yeah it does have a bit of a green hue to it it actually looks kind of gold so i could rock it it is a highlighter that i would not be afraid to rock but it is green <laughs> so yeah i do have a green highlighter as well Okay, and lastly, for my green makeup collection video, I wanna show you my green eyeliner pencils that I use or that I would basically gravitate to if I was doing a green eye look like the one I have on today to use in my waterline. This first one is from LA Girl. This is one of their Shockwave Neon Liners in the shade Gotcha. And I will go ahead and just swatch these for you guys. So that is the shade Gotcha. Very bright, very pretty. Next, I have here one from ColourPop. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read the name. I can never read the names on here because they're, they get wiped off easily. But anyways, this is their bright green <laughs> eyeliner cream gel eyeliner pencils let me swap oh this one is super bright okay so this one is quite a bit lighter quite a bit brighter than the la girl i actually prefer the la girl because it's more green green but this one is from ColourPop. it's very very bright here this one is from shani and i did i have a few actually from shani because I purchased like a mega set of eyeliners from them that has like all these different colors and this big giant kit. So I just pulled out a couple that pull green. This one is the shade Vivid. And it's funny because it's called Vivid, but it's not that vivid. <laughs> Their liners have a little bit more of a satin finish. So it's not like that dry matte finish with the bold color it is very satin-esque so that is what that green shade looks like this is another one from shani and this one is called distinct so that one looks like that oh that's really really pretty that's gorgeous i don't know is that that's more like teal it's a thin line between that green and blue sometimes but yeah that is really really pretty so that is it, you guys. That is all that I have in my makeup collection that I would consider my green makeup. <laughs> like I said, I have a lot of palettes that have green shades in them, some very gorgeous green shades, as well as single shadows that are beautiful, that are green. But I'm probably gonna do like a different video going through my single shadows and then, you know, a rainbow palette video so i didn't want to throw those in but anyways that's it you guys hopefully this video wasn't too crazy long i try not to swatch too much but that is my green makeup collection hope you had a good time watching let me know down below like i said if you like this style of palette collection video and if you did give me a like <laughs> subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i will see you on my next video toodles